guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Coach Ken. I'm an online fitness and an online business coach for fitness professionals. And I'm coming at you today with a video that I know most of you guys need and a lot of you guys have been talking to me about it and that is quarter two planning we are one week into this quarter and if you don't know what quarterly planning is definitely stick around with me if you do know what it is still stick with me because this video is going to be super advantageous to look at a different perspective potentially of how you can do some quarterly planning to reach the big annual goals that you have for your business so let's dive in so to be really successful in your business it's really important to not just treat it like a side hustle but to actually sit down and plan things out because if you have a big vision you want to work backwards and look at what you guys have to do as a team or independently on a daily basis on a weekly basis a monthly quarterly and of course annually basis and so when you start doing quarterly planning basically what you're doing is you are of course splitting the months of the year into quarters so about three months right four different quarters q1 two three and four and as we're heading into quarter two right now, as I make this video, I think it's important that you start to look at and understand how you can compartmentalize each part of your year to reach the big annual goals. If you haven't already set an annual goal, I definitely recommend going back, just write some stuff down. What's your revenue goal? How many clients do you wanna sign? And then what you can easily do is just work backwards and see how many clients you need to sign to actually hit the revenue goal based off of what you're charging, okay? That's really simple, really easy. Now, when you get into quarterly goals, what a lot of people don't take into consideration is the fact that our lives ebb and flow and the seasons ebb and flow. I really love compartmentalizing my quarters into just different seasons that I can actually work on in the business. Quarter one, right, I want you to look back and I want you to reflect on how did you do? What was your revenue? How many clients did you sign? Did you launch something? How was your content? And then you also have to look at those other things like client delivery, systems, different things that you did for client support and community support, right? Those are all a big part of how you actually set goals. But a lot of people can get really stuck on the numbers. So they start looking at revenue, they start looking at number of clients signed, and they don't really flow with the seasons because they get really stuck on numbers. Going into Q2, what I want you to do is I want you to start setting some really big goals that will help you get to that annual goal. I actually am gonna put a worksheet down below and I want you to go ahead and go to the top left corner, hit make a copy, make your own copy, rename it, fill it in. Now, what I want you to do is basically create the desired outcome for what you want your quarter two to look like. You can actually use this sheet for any quarter. It doesn't have to be just Q2, but let's talk a little bit about what quarter two specifically could look like for you. So I want you to look at quarter two and think about what do you need to pour into to go deeper? Is it client community support? Is it overall client delivery and improving on the deliverables that you actually give to your clients? Is it looking at your systems and organization? Or is it looking at you as an individual and working on personal development and self-expansion or even just your coaching education to better perform in your business and in your life as well. So these are different ways you can actually go deeper into quarter two. What you wanna do is you wanna set a big revenue goal. How much money do you wanna make over the next three months? How much do you need to make each month in order for that to happen? How many clients do you need to sign in order for that to happen? And of course, if you have specific systems like DM outreach or you know anything that you're doing with inbound lead generation, you can easily just plan for how many calls you need to book, how many of those need to close, so what your closing percentage needs to be on a monthly basis. But here's what a lot of coaches don't break down is how are you gonna get those calls booked? We don't always just wanna rely on outbound lead generation for forever. We don't also wanna just rely on inbounds. How we're gonna actually get more of this easily and effortlessly is by just building up a community. How can you pour into your community this quarter? Can you work on different challenges within your client community groups? Can you actually build a community outside of your client group, like a Facebook group? Or could you build an incubator, like an email list, where you can provide value so you can actually get more people in your pipeline nurture them and then convert them over. These are super simple and super easy ways for you to actually nurture more people and get more people on board that you can then convert and monetize on. Now, if you guys wanna learn a little bit more about incubators, learn more about building up your community, head to the link down below. I'm also gonna include our Facebook group here. You guys can go join. We have over 1400 coaches in there. And me and our coaches at Elevate Coaching Academy, we post in there all the time with different resources, freebies, planning worksheets, as well as different ways you can build up your community and build on top of your client deliveries. Go ahead, get started. If you haven't already planned Q2, go get planning. I dropped that worksheet down below for you guys so you guys can get kickstarted. Do me a favor, once you fill it out, 
send it to me. Just shoot me a message over on my Instagram. My main Instagram is just fears to fit at the A-R-S-T-O-F-I-T. And I'll get back to you. I'll give you some support. I hope this video was super helpful. Stay structured, keep planning. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.